Hey my friends, how are you? So we've got the dragon tiger. She's all finished and completed. So, well not completed, I've just got to do the um, antenna system. So I've got to put the antennas in there and there's a few other little radio parts to put on. But this went together so well, it looks really cool. By, by dragon. Really nice zimmerit. The turret came up really nicely. Now you can see the um, really nice work there on the top there. Really cool uh, weld lines. And there's not much detail inside the turret. But it was really easy to put together this turret. It really worked very well. Let's see if we can get it off. Now you can see inside it's just the basic um you've got your your breech, your basket, and then you've got a couple of seats, but not much. And it's all covered in silver because that's what Whitman did is his magical tank it's a magic tank it's whitman's magical tank and all the silver he pillaged from from russia he used it to to electroplate his gun that's why it's silver and that's what gives it its magical powers that's why whitman was tank was so good because he had magical powers just joking but another good feature you see how there was a gap in the zimmer but they put in a photo which zimmer it line there see and then you can really complete the zimmer it it's just amazing and you see that little wire there for the um light that was included as well all pre-bent and stuff so i usually do that myself but that was really easy because it was all pre-bent this was a really easy kit to build probably the easiest kit i've built in a long time and this was basically a weekend build i wouldn't say you'd do it the whole thing in the weekend but um you know painting but you could definitely build this in a weekend it was really cool so i'll get on to the uh the antenna system now and we've got this one coming along very nicely this is definitely my favorite um i've got the it's all shiny at the moment but that'll dull down i've got the metal tracks on they're not sort of glued down yet but I really like how they get that natural sag. Hey Elsie, how you doing? You don't have to do much. You just, it, it's a real natural sag. Uh, we got the fourth Panzer Division insignia on. And yeah, I'll, I'll be able to start weathering this up now. Well, we've got a few things to complete with the building. Uh, we've got to put in the antenna. We've got to build the front. Um, holder thing for the, the cannon so when the cannon goes in it'll need a holder to hold the front so we've got to build that but otherwise it's looking really good I'll just get this weathered up the cannon here so I'll you know give it some chipping and all that kind of stuff and then we can put that in and then we can install the front part but I'll paint that separately and also I think with the later versions you need to have a a shovel there but I'll have to research that a bit more and see what what other tools we require on this if any all right my dear friends it's so good to see you and speak to you um, and I'll continue on and we will get this tiger finished and we'll get the Hummel finished and this is my favorite this is definitely my favorite uh, model of all time. That's why it got the metal tracks. It's just amazing. I'm really in love with this this uh, this model. Now let's go. I'm just going to take my time. Just look how cute it is. It's really cool. I love the um, the lines and all that kind of stuff. You know, compared to a uh, a normal Panzer IV, they do look really cool. I reckon. Yeah, this is really extended here. This looks really good, I reckon, opposed to the uh, Nash one sort of look where it's just got the straight angle. Really cool stuff.
really like my Panzer fours. All right, my friends. I hope you like the Tiger. It's really cool, and I'll advise you get one. This is the um, this kit here. So Whitman's last Tiger. It's a new one by Dragon. I'm pretty sure it's new, and it's really good. It fits together really well. But um, you know, make sure you put it together logically. Like uh, with this one here, what I would do, what I did was successful is I put that in, then I put that in, then I glued these two into spot, into place, and then I was able to put the top in. And it all fit together really well. You can see there's a tiny, maybe a tiny little bit of gap there. Yeah, see, just a tiny little bit and that's about it. And that all just really easily fill up with a bit of super glue. Or the gap is. Everything's really good. A little bit of gap there. But not much at all. It's really come up good. Uh, there's a little gap in the side there that I'll just fill that with a bit of super glue. This side came up really good. But the fit was amazing and you can see even the top here fitted in really well all good all good I might put a um, replace this handle here with a metal one like I did there they're just better it's just not gonna hold up they just keep breaking they're just horrible especially when you do your weathering they really snap up and I lost my little light there. I cannot find it. It has to be in here, this little place somewhere. But I hate it when you do that, when they you just notice they're gone, and then it's like, where did that go? Always lose bloody lights, but at least I got my mini out light still. See, hey, look how cool that one is. All right, my friends. I'll stop crapping on now. I'll see you again soon.